on the tree. Want to bet on it? I bet you didn't know that the co-function of sine is cosecant. Well, I bet you didn't know that secant is the co-function of cosine. Well, the co-function of tangent is... Cotangent? Now everyone sit down. Can anyone tell me what the three unforgivable curses are? Neither of you guys can answer without your little girlfriend Hermione running around, huh? Well, let me teach you a lesson. The three are sine, cosine, and tangent. Let me demonstrate that to you. Opposite over hypotenuse! This unforgivable curse is sine, Malfoy. Its y-intercept is 0, and its x-intercepts are pi and 2 pi. To make your sine curse unique, you need to change the amplitude A, the horizontal elasticity B, the horizontal placement C, and the vertical placement the second curse is cosine. Let me demonstrate. Adjacent over hypotenuse! Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. The cosine curse is the same as the sine curse, except for the y-intercept is 1. So basically, it is the sine curse shifted to the right, pi over 2 units, Malfoy. To make it unique, you apply the same methods as you would to sine to cosine. This last curse is a tangent curse, the most deadly of them all. I will not be demonstrating this to you because it might cause some trauma to you weaklings, Malfoy. It has a period of pi and looks much different from the other two curses. It has untouchable vertical asymptotes at pi over 2 and 2k pi. Because this is defense against dark trigonometry class, you'll need to learn the counterattacks to these curses. First off, against sine, you have, you have to use the cosine curse. Against cosine, you'll have to use the secant curse. And against tangent, you'll have to use the cotangent. Now go study at home, kids, because you'll be tested on this tomorrow. I hope you all study, because you guys will be fighting each other with those curses you learned yesterday. Pair up, all of you. I'll be putting a spell on all of you so none of you will actually die. But don't be afraid to get hurt. Begin! You two, don't be such wimps. Show me what you got. Opposite over hypotenuse. Cross again. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Secant. Opposite over adjacent. Now that's what you call a duel. We need nurses here, and that's why young wizards study. Woo! Yay! We're done! Now, Malfoy, since you've been being so terrible in my classes recently, I think you deserve to be punished with inverses! Now, the rule is if sine x is within the range of sine inverse x, then sine inverse x Sine inverse of sine x equals x. This is true for the other two functions. Now, 
now, team. Let's look at the game plan. This is A, where you are. In order to cover the most area, you have we have to use the formula one half A B sine C. So everyone spread out and go this way. Break. Okay, team. Since Slytherin is using one plan, we have to use another one. So we need to cover as much space as we can. So the area is root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. A, b, and c. S is equal to half of the perimeter. Now you guys, spread out! Well, you guys just lost, so ha!